So this is just gonna be a quick video on my second channel about the current state of Black Ops 3. In case you're kind of like out of the loop, basically there's been a lot of rumors and stuff going around about like the T7 patch and like if Black Ops 3 is unsafe to play and stuff like that. Sirius, the creator of the T7 patch, I think came out with a video yesterday where he essentially goes over all of the rumors and he clears stuff up and he makes sure that people know that his patch is safe. So his video is sitting at 9K, right? But myself and many other people, right, that we're just gonna make a video on it just like trying to spread the word. Because again, a lot of misinformation, a lot of things that are just blatant lies. The TLDR of the situation is that if you use the t7 patch you are perfectly fine on black ops 3 anyone saying there's like rc exploits and stuff like that like it's just it's just not true if you are running the t7 patch you are perfectly fine from any sort of vulnerability all right base bo3 like no patch no boy client anything like that completely unplayable right i wouldn't i wouldn't recommend it personally i've never been kicked offline but if you are like concerned about your safety and stuff like that just don't even risk it there is just some things though that do need to be made clear about the t7 patch in case anyone i guess like doesn't know how to run it essentially right you come here you download the t7 patch so i got my exe right here you just double click it what's gonna happen is it's gonna open up this thing right here why is it in the top right of my screen i don't know uh, but yeah essentially right like the two things that you need to 100 have on is friends only and you need to have a network password all right if you are running it by a password then yes you are still like susceptible to like all of the rc exploits and stuff like that but if you are running a password there is absolutely no chance that you'll get any form of like attack right this is something that like people are just completely ignoring if you run a password you are completely safe this is why serious said that he doesn't need to update the patch anymore because the patch will forever work all right the people who are saying oh no well i'm getting updates when i load the patch it's literally quality of life stuff all right i'll link Sirius's video in the description if you want to check it out really good watch he goes into a lot of detail about like why you won't get attacked if you run a password and stuff like that but essentially right for like anyone who just wants like a really dumbed down version literally run a password and you'll be fine the only thing that Sirius does say that you, like can happen is that people could potentially grab your ip address getting an ip address really doesn't mean a whole lot i'll be honest with you like i could pull up my ip right now and it wouldn't even tell me where i'm at someone would have to be like really fucking smart to be able to do anything with your ip but if you do want people to just not grab your ip really as simple as just running a vpn sirius also said at one point like don't set your steam name as your like change name here i think it's just so people can't find like your steam account and stuff like that but i'm just gonna add like an extra a but if i was to set a patch right like we'll just literally set it as renzaru if i was to then come over the steam right or load up black ops 3 i will just be like perfectly fine right there's just so many people out there being like boy client doesn't work t7 patch doesn't work like black ops 3 is fucked whatever it's all just for views i'll be real like i'm not gonna name drop anyone here because i just think there's no point to name dropping anyone i think at this point like we just need to correct the issue and just move on uh but yeah like essentially anyone who's making a video going over the safety of like the t7 patch or anything ignore them all right like genuinely ignore them right the only people who need to speak on the patch is Sirius or anyone i guess like affiliated to the boy client i don't know like for example if i was to come out here and be like oh yeah like the, like boy client t7 is like completely fucked i, I would just straight up be lying and you shouldn't listen to what i say anyways because i'm not a fucking uh but yeah as you can see right the patch is running in the top right you can see patch 2.0 or 2.03 by Sirius. that's basically how you know you're protected like at this point nobody could like at all attack me as you can see my name is set so it's renza aru personally right i recommend just staying off multiplayer completely for zombies just playing solo or playing with like friends or whatever like never go online with any of these things and honestly like that that's all that really needs to be said all right like the t7 patch is fine boy client's fine bo3 is playable it's not fucking unsafe anyone saying so is just blatantly lying uh, and that's really all i really want to say but anyone that's going to go to the comments and be like well this is an issue that treyarch should fix i 100 agree i don't personally agree that we should be relying on community made patches to fix an issue that shouldn't even be there in the first place i'm not sitting there saying it is but again as sirius said in one of his videos it's face reality treyarch is never ever going to patch this it's never going to fix it and at this point this is the best we have so i know it's a bit of a pain it's not really that much of a pain you can literally set a shortcut to your fucking pc uh desktop and like run that and then run bo3 and it's really just that simple same with the boy client literally it's just a fucking exe on your desktop and you click that and you can run it only thing i don't really like about the boy client is you can't play like mods and custom maps and stuff like that but yeah obviously it sucks that these things even exist but like genuinely like this is the best we have we're sitting here shitting on Sirius, and he's only gone out of his way to help us and we're sitting there saying that his like patch and stuff like that is like exploits and stuff like that just making up shit it's just a completely unnecessary uh but yeah i mean that's enough of me rambling right i just wanted to make a quick video going over like you know the state of it letting everyone know that it is completely safe and uh yeah that's literally all i want to say so i'll see you guys in the next video